Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, sizes, proclivities, activities, and forces of will, gather your chi and experience with me the reception of the drop-off ferry. Who has the drop-off ferry connected us with today? It is a great, great company that uh, is a series of luthiers that have been quite around in the business for quite some time. Because today we apparently have found that great Gretsch sound. We figured that we needed an acoustic in our arsenal. And we found out that we actually kind of need several. You need one acoustic that sounds very, you know, folk-like. You need one that sounds very, you know, has that very country sort of grind, that big body baby, which is this one. And then, of course, you're going to need one of those that sounds like outlaw country. Shout out to Archer. Outlaw country! So... We are going to investigate. What's in the box? And the answer today at Tonga Command is more cardboard. No. Yes. Um, more cardboard. How do you do that? That's a lot of cardboard. You gotta get in your fire burners, you know what I'm saying? You know. Get it in where you fit it in. So, funnily enough, we use a shipping company, and to economize the shipping, what I believe has happened here is that in this particular Oh, I think that was just customs. The customs have, has rearranged what's going on now and why. So, in this case, follow it to the side. We have. It looks like an axe, but so does my face, nobody cares. Oof. Rubber bands, rubber bands, it's the rubber band man and the rubber band man. Oof. Trying not to destroy the tuners because I don't know why they would do that. I guess it's worked before. People keep doing the thing they've always done. I'm gonna put my hand up her skirt here. Pardon me, don't mean don't mean to. Okay. Woo we this is the jumbo. The big baby. Also, I really, really, really did not want another acoustic that looks like Conway Twitty. That pale maple face thing is just so dead to me. So, I got something with a little flavor on it. It looks like hot sauce. Yeah, baby. It looks like a nice sunset, doesn't it? Almost. Holy crap. I think that's actually set up. String tension seems about right. Next seems pretty straight. Holy junk. Good lord, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what does this say? This certifies that your new instrument has 
got a Sweetwater's 55 point inspection and is ready to play. Who the man goes, he's ready to play today. Signed by Devin D. Devin D has very nice pronounced D's. Whatever that may be, he or she, I don't know. It's kind of a weird spelling, the E-D-I-N. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a boy or a girl. So, we have the Fishman pickup matched and made exactly for this one. I believe it's the Isis. I'm not quite sure, but I think it is. We have, so they have this in two options, and the other one was super gaudy. It was white with gold, and the headstock was just a mess. And it has, you know, the other ones have some sort of eagle branding on it. This one sounds just as good. I would have liked the black one, but they're super hard to find, so we kind of landed in the middle. But that jumbo thing, man, I mean, way down there. And that's the big old body, so you have some of your percussive stuff that you get some real good stuff depending on where you hit it. I know you acoustic guys like to do all that stuff with your fingers and then knocking on stuff. So when people come through here, they can look like a real country boy. Even though we're in Serbia. So that's, yeah. Take it till you make it. You know what I'm saying? So this bad boy is, is just amazing and worth every. Oh, look at these. Focus in on these scallops here. Look at that. That is something I did not notice in the ordering process. Got your, uh, your that's a very unique way to do those to do the fretboard. Quite interesting. Okay. If you see them here, you've got the fret markings. They have just little, and, I, and you can feel them, I guess. So if you put your hand there, it's subtle, but you can feel the difference between the wood and the, the, the ones that actually have the markings. I guess you get used to it, and since you're you know, probably putting your fingers here, it's the biggest string, so it's not really going to matter to you. But it's a very, very interesting way to do things, and it, it's very subtle. It's very tasty. Again, the, uh, the, the gaudiness, I, the other model, I just cannot describe, to be honest with you. So we found the deepest, darkest, most pronounced baritone, basso profundo, guitar that we could and then you know we go right from <clears throat> this to uh, an acoustic bass and then you know and eventually we'll get an upright and maybe a six string upright carbon fiber bass just rule, one to rule them all you know make it the size of a small boat like a dinghy you know get a bow the size of a, and we'll get a bow we'll get a real bow so like you can play your bass and then shoot arrows or even shoot other bows from your bow see yeah, you can be deadly on stage shooting bows at people with your bow that you played your bass with. And then we'll go all the way the other direction and get a super piccolo guitar. Not a, not a ukulele, that's cheating. You have to get a piccolo guitar and then put a pickup in that. And so you can go every single possible range. And you can have one member of the, you can have ten members of the band playing guitar. <laughs> Actually, how, would, how many would you get? You'd get one, two, you'd five. You'd five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely do that. So, the new Gretsch, new baby. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful woman.